Uh, it's sort of crazy having ex-con parents because, I mean, you won't really find that many that their parents are good now and uh, you don't really like to share their past but they're pretty open about it and it teaches me a lot because they made it through something that seems impossible but you can make it through anything, especially with Jesus Christ. I'm Michael and Dana Bryant's son. I was six years old when Crossing the Jordan started. Uh, when I was younger, I just remember living in an apartment with my parents and I don't remember that far into the uh, drug use and stuff. I just remember them smoking, sometimes drinking, but they stopped at, at a pretty young age for me. I remember uh, these, it was a mom, a younger son and a a baby, I forgot what gender it was, but I remember them coming into our house and just sleeping on our couch and us being open to them staying. And then we had uh, more and more people staying at our house after that. And uh, they, it wasn't, it was just like us being there for them. And then we opened up Crossing the Jordan and a house to stay at for them. Uh, and to start our Crossing the Jordan, we uh, went and prayed for our store actually. It was a didn't look nothing like a store. And then we had a festival, and that was, it was, it was pretty big, and it was very fun, and being a young kid going around playing all the games. At the beginning of our company, we had to um, put these <laughs> plastic bags in uh, people's old clothes. Would, they would put it in there, and we would resell it for uh, the women and children, and uh, yeah. So our, uh, our first store, it was on uh, San Rosa Avenue in uh, the ghetto. And uh, we, we didn't have advertisement or anything and we weren't really sorted out, but uh, we made $52.75 and 52 is one of my favorite numbers now because it's just gone through me all these years and how small we started and I have more money in my pocket than $52. <laughs> our first store, we would, uh, we would be more friendly than other stores and it was like it wasn't like a business for us it was like a, a passion for us to do better and for to to help people at the start of the academy uh my parents would give their time to that but it, it felt like more me and my little sister bricky we would uh we would be in that too and it felt like it was like a, a family thing to us and a uh it was my parents' passion, so when you're younger, you follow your parents' passion too. And I just loved sharing with the homeless people the good news of God. What I learned through sacrifice, it really didn't feel like sacrifice. It just taught me how to be self-centered and to uh, care about others and put others' needs above mine instead of uh, being all about myself like other people. What I learned about ex-cons and addicts is uh, that they're just like us. They've had more rough past and they've been through more than the average person you see, but they're more friendly. They've been through more than anybody else and they understand where you're coming from in any situation and they're just trying to do better in life. I'm a teenager now and I was exposed to the drug life at a very young age and uh, it's actually taught me more than to be these addicts and they, they helped me they helped me think of not being in that past and that being a cool person, being all that leads not to a cool path, but to be humble and growing up in this situation just teaches me a lot to just be yourself and loving yourself. Uh, it's sort of crazy having ex-con parents because, I mean, you won't really find that many that their parents are good now and uh, you don't really like to share their past, but they're pretty open about it. And it teaches me a lot because they made it through something that seems impossible, but you can make it through anything, especially with Jesus Christ. I've been working since I was eight years old in a, on a baler, which is throwing clothes in a big compressor, sending them out to kids in Africa. And it's just, it's crazy with this work ethic and most of these kids don't have it. And I don't really complain about working that much anymore because I'm used to it, but it's, it taught me a lot. I've uh, worked in, every part of the company pretty much. And I started off bailing and sweeping clothes, but now I've gone to the store, I've ran the store, I've on the moving truck, I've done all, most all of it.
My, uh, my dad wanted me to start at the bottom, so I was in, in his position one day and some person walked up to me and said, you're just a square who was given this position. Instead of saying, you could, I started from the bottom and now I'm there. I'm going to Africa in two weeks to visit an orphanage. That will be definitely a humbling experience and get to see the kids over there and what they've been through compared to the United States of America. My vision in the company is to run the missions and to um, just help those people over there because they need a lot of help too. For whoever kids struggling with that stuff, uh, maybe I wasn't as old as you, but I, I sort of remember it was like going through that pain and just felt like your parents weren't there, but just stay strong and just be yourself. My name's Jacob Bryant, and this is my full disclosure.